Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a midwife and lactation consultant. And in this breastfeeding series, I'll be answering the most frequently asked questions around breastfeeding in the first hours, days and weeks. The first night at home is often the trickiest. This is normal for nearly everybody with a new baby, so please don't worry. Most babies tend to really wake up on their second to third night. This means that your baby will probably want to feed all night long. This is normal, but can be exhausting. So how do you cope with this? One way to think about it is that for the next few nights, you're about to work a night shift or two or three or maybe more. If you were about to go and work a real night shift, you'd want to get some sleep in the daytime beforehand. This applies here as well. There is no easy trick to stop babies from wanting to feed frequently overnight. So the way to cope is to try and get as much sleep as you can when you can, during the day, as well as in between feeds at night, of course. This is one of the most important things for all new mums to make a priority. Yes, you will probably hear this said all the time. There's a reason for that, because these first few days are both beautiful and exciting, but also at times exhausting and emotional. Having a baby is likely to be one of the most incredible and wonderful times of your life. But for some, it can also be understandably challenging, especially in the first few days. Mums are naturally tired after birth and then add to that learning how to get the hang of breastfeeding, learning how to understand your baby's feeding cues, learning what every cry really means and learning how to know your baby has had enough milk. This takes time for every new mum. So having enough sleep can make everything feel that bit easier to cope with. Here are some of the top tips many mums say have helped them in the first few days after they have given birth. Limit your visitors. Keeping some time for yourself allows you to settle into your new role as a mum and family. Be kind to yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help from others. Ideally, have some yummy, healthy food stocked up in the freezer before you go into labor so you don't have to cook in those first few days at home. And definitely don't even think about doing any cleaning yet. Feel confident knowing that your baby is getting well fed. If it's helpful, keep a note of how many times your baby has fed, how many wet diapers and how many dirty diapers plus the color of the poos. We have another video which talks about how to know your baby is getting enough breast milk. Remember, it is normal that your baby probably wants to be near you or held by you almost all the time. Your baby has spent the last nine months in constant contact with you, knowing every movement, every sound and every heartbeat. Therefore, it's absolutely normal for us as tiny humans to want to be held and made to feel secure as we venture out into this new world. As your baby grows older over the next few days, weeks and months, it will become easier to settle your baby. Holding your baby in skin to skin contact is one of the most helpful things you can do. Skin to skin contact helps to calm both mum and baby. It helps babies to cry less. It helps babies to seek out the breast and feed. And it helps your milk to flow. Plus, it feels absolutely lovely. Just because you're at home now instead of in the hospital doesn't mean that skin to skin contact is not still important. It most certainly is. And remember, it's okay to have a good old cry and a great big hug from those you love around you. This is hormonally an emotional time full of highs and some lows. As your hormones change over the next few days, you might feel quite sad at times and then really quite elated and joyful at others. Remember to talk to those people around you as this really helps. 
And if you feel that you are not coping in any way, it is important to reach out to your healthcare professional. Never feel worried about being honest about your feelings. Remember your healthcare professional has probably seen and heard this from thousands of new mums and completely understands. And talk to your partner about how they can help too. Sometimes it can be really difficult for a partner as they feel like the bystander when they can't feed the baby. But your partner can help you and your baby in so many other ways. Settling your baby, holding baby in skin to skin contact, bathing the baby, and yes, the other not so great jobs like changing diapers. But the little things around the house, like keeping you well fed and the occasional tidy up can be worth their weight in gold in these first few days. A partner's job is to look after the mum so she can concentrate on learning to breastfeed with her baby. For more information, support and tips, check out our other videos in this series.